completely. But people give fatwa. Takfir. We'll come to takfir later on. And according to according to the hadith of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa hadith of Sayyid Bukhari, volume number 8, hadith number 637, the Prophet said, any Muslim who says kafir to another Muslim, it comes back to him. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, it's mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number 8, hadith number 6103, that anyone, any Muslim tells to another Muslim, he's a kafir, he kills him. Now, based on this, the scholars, they said, great scholars, they said that you should not do takfir. Takfir means calling another Muslim, another believer a kafir. And there are various fatwas of these hadith that according to Hafiz ibn Hajar, he said that what the hadith of Sayyid Bukhari said that if you call a Muslim a kafir, it comes back to you. That means the kufr comes back to you and you become a kafir. Sheikh Shaukhani, he said that do not call another believer a kafir until the proofs, the burhan, are as clear as the daytime of the sun. Unless it's clear to you that he's a pakka kafir, proof. See if you, it's not far to call a kafir a kafir. It's not far. Even if the Muslim may be a kafir, why are you giving a fatwa? Takfir. One one calling another kafir outside the fold. So the various fatwas describing it is wrong. I would like to end my talk by giving the opinions in the ending of these great scholars, which will open up your mind. According those people who say takfir, no takfir, kafir, kafir. Imam Shafi, may Allah's mercy be on him, he said that if calling the names attributes of Allah. What Allah has given is that. Anything else is haram. It's kufr. You can only call to name of Allah what he and his messenger have given. Nothing else. Anything else is kufr. But if someone calls another name in ignorance, then he's not a kafir. Imam Shafi. Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, you know what he said? He said, <clears throat> if someone prostrates to a man and he thinks this is his deen, then he's not an unbeliever, Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah. If someone does shudu to a man, Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah said, if someone does sajda to a man, to a human being, and thinks it is his deen, he is not an unbeliever until someone explains to him, and yet he's on it. Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, what a great personality. Further, if you read Sheikh Shaukhani, he said, that if someone bows down to anyone besides Allah in ignorance, he is not an unbeliever. Muhammad ibn Wahab, may Allah's mercy be on him, he said that we do not call unbelievers to those people who bow on the idol of the grave of Abdul Qadir or on the idol of the grave of Ahmad Baddawi or the likes of it. So how can we call unbeliever to those people who do not do shirk? We claim that we are knowledgeable giving takfir, kafir, kafir, etc. I would like to end with the two hadiths of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in Sahih Muslim, volume number three, hadith number 4565, that Arfaja, may Allah be pleased with him, he said, that the messenger of Allah said that there will be a time when evil things will happen in a community and whenever a person disrupts the unity of the Muslim Ummah, strike him with the sword and if he does not stop, kill him. A messenger said anyone who tries to disrupt the unity of the Muslim Ummah, strike him with the sword. If he does not stop, kill him. Sahih Muslim, volume number 3, hadith number 4565. I would like to end my talk with the last hadith of Muhammad which is from Sahih Bukhari, volume number 4, 
Hadith number 3606. I know the lecture is long. Last Hadith. Here, Hudayfa Ibn Yaman, may Allah be peace with him, he says that people like asking to the Prophet what things are good, but I, due to fear, like to ask the Prophet what is evil. And he asked the Prophet that we were in ignorance and evil, and Allah, through his guidance, he brought us to the good. Will there be any evil after this? The Prophet said, yes, there will be evil. Will there be any good after that evil? The Prophet said, yes, but with a little dakhan, with a little evil. So the Sahaba asked, what is that evil? The Prophet said, there will be some people who will call towards things which are not my prediction. The Sahaba asked, after that, will there be any evil? The Prophet said, yes. There will be people who will call you to the hellfire. So Hudayfa, may Allah be pleased with him, he asked, what should we do? So the Prophet replied, hold fast to the group of Muslims and the chief. So the Sahaba asked, what if there is no group of Muslim and the chief? The reply of the Prophet is, if there are no group of Muslim or no chief, dissociate yourself from all the sects. Even if you have to bite the root of the tree until you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that state. Wa akhir dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.